China's tourism and civil aviation market is experiencing a robust recovery, with the country's aviation regulator reporting that the number of daily flights has rebounded to over 90% of pre-pandemic levels in the first half of this year. Yumi Trip, a major aviation service platform in China, has reported that as of July, domestic airlines have executed over 7,000 inbound and outbound flights. On July 9th. The number of tourists surpassed 123,000, marking a new high for this year. According to Spring Airlines, a pioneer in China's private airline industry, its domestic route load factor has exceeded 90 percent compared to 2019 in the first six months of this year, while the number of international flights has recovered to almost 50 percent. During the pandemic, Spring Airlines bought more than 20 new aircraft. With the upsurge of summer holiday tourism this year, the airline is using its new aircraft on various routes. The company has also responded to emerging travel trends by launching additional flight routes, such as those catering to ecological tourism and educational excursions. Zhang also remarked that the tourism industry's bounce back has been advantageous for Spring Airlines, resulting in growth in the company's benefits during the first half of this year. Spring Airlines is projecting an operating profit of 650 to 850 million yuan for the first half of 2023, which is close to the company's record. Meanwhile. China has seen the return of more international airlines, such as Scoot, the low-cost airline of Singapore Airlines Group. In the first half of 2023, the number of passengers traveling by Scoot from China to Singapore has risen dramatically, with an increase from 2,500 per week in January to over 18,000 per week in July, marking a seven-fold increase in just a few months. I think this July, which is the peak summer travel period, we we were quite confident that the the load factor will continue to improve further. Like pre-COVID, we fly to about 19 cities in China. So now we have recovered to 17 cities in total. So and also increasing frequency to all these 17 cities. And the resumption of China's 15-day visa-free policy for visitors from Singapore and Brunei this week marks a positive move that has instilled greater confidence among tourism industry professionals worldwide. China, I think, is one of the largest outbound travelers to the to the rest of the world, and I think many many countries are waiting for the reopening of China. So I think there's a lot of opportunity for airlines, especially operating in China. That we can continue to recover, to ramp up our capacity in China, so that we can meet the growing demand, growing travel demand of the of the of the of the Chinese passengers post pandemic. China's civil aviation administration has announced its plan to bolster the revival of international flights in the second half of this year. The aim is to expand the flight connectivity to over 70 countries and regions by 2025, with more than 50 participating in the Belt and Road Initiative. Which also seeks to further improve the high-quality development of the Air Silk Road. Xu Yi, CGTN, Beijing.